So what we're going to do today is very simple. Uh, we are going to pack corn. Okay, it's that simple. Whole corn is actually relatively cheap by now. I don't know where the prices are going to go, but I got a 25 pound bag of corn. Okay, I'll put the links down below and I yes, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you click on that link, I'll probably get like two cents. All right, so if you if it's two bags, it's probably like four cents. All right, so corn, what I was reading, whole corn, um, not the stuff that you feed animals, not animal feed, not red corn. If it says deer on the packaging, it's not for you, okay? Uh, if you get whole corn, and the place that I'm using is Great River Organic Milling Company. I got them from Amazon. I ordered 50 pounds of corn. They sent it to my house, and I have all the stuff that I need. It will last for 30 years in a Mylar bag. All right, that's pretty good shelf stable. It's already dried. You don't have to do much about it. Uh, a lot of preppers mistakes. What they do is they uh, buy stuff that they don't normally eat. My family eats a ton of corn. Okay, so I don't know why I didn't. The only corn that I had was in, um, uh, it was in cans and canned corn is good for your rotations, but you really should stockpile that stuff. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer and then we'll take a look. All right, guys, so very simply put, um, Great River Organic Milling Company. I'll put the links down below. They have to, they, there are a farm, and what they do is they package all their stuff, they send it to your house in a nice box, and inside the box is a nice bag. Everything's sealed, ready to go. I like it very much because it makes things very easy for me, all right? Everybody likes easy. Now, the corn that's in here is good rated whole grain corn. You can see right there, hopefully, all right, this is not bottom of the barrel stuff. This is not deer corn, all right? Don't buy the red corn. All that stuff is for feed, that's for animals. I mean, technically you could eat it, but it's not gonna taste very good. So buy the good stuff. If you package this right, like I said, you're gonna have it for 30 years. That's a long time to have corn, so that's really good. In my opinion, only stockpile what your family eats. I have two children and they're very picky sometimes, so we can't obviously stockpile pizza, but we'll do the next best thing, okay? You're gonna need a bucket, all right? This is a five gallon bucket. You can get them on Amazon. Again, I'll put the links down below. Make sure they come with the lid. Inside this lid right here, you're gonna see a rubber gasket. Make sure that rubber gasket is there, all right? That is a food grade bucket. You don't need to buy food grade. You can go to Home Depot, that's fine, it, or Lowell's. It doesn't make a difference. I like food grade buckets to each his own. Buy whichever one you like, okay? Mylar bag, all right? This is the big one. I'll put everything down below. Inside here, what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna put this inside there, flatten it out, and then put the corn in there, all right? Once all the corn is in there, you're gonna need oxygen absorbers, okay? So that's 2,000 cc's. This one is 100 cc's, okay? You need to make sure you buy the right one. For a five gallon bucket, you're gonna need at least 2,000, all right? So if, you have, if that's the case and you only have 100, then you're gonna have to add 20, okay? Does that kind of make sense? If I did my math right, you're gonna need 20 of these or one big one, all right? So again, each his own. There is a a chart or a list. I'll see if I can find the link, and it tells you on your packaging how much you're supposed, how many oxygen absorbers you can put in there. Now, a lot of people say use hand warmers. Okay, great. I don't know how many hand warmers I need to put in there, but if you need to, that's fine. The idea is what we're doing is we're taking that mylar bag and we're taking any oxygen in there, and we're getting rid of it. All right. You don't want oxygen if it's for long-term storage, all right? You don't want oxygen in there. You want it to be as clean as possible. And again, for 30 years, these buckets work pretty well, okay? Um, somebody once said, you know, why don't you just use smaller buckets or you can use smaller bags? You can if you are rotating your stockpile a lot. You could also use cans, all right? I always have cans of corn just sitting there and we rotate through that. This is for long-term storage, all right? You're also gonna need some type of heat device. I have my iron. You can also use uh, the wife's uh, hair braider machine, whatever that is, the flattener. You can use that and they also sell devices now that are used for that. You can use a two by four. 
or uh, I think uh, one by four, whatever floats your boat. Basically all you need is a flat surface. This flat surface is what we're going to be pressing the mylar on just to seal it, all right? It's just an idea, all right? Oxygen absorbers, all right? This is where I get my information from. If you Google it, you'll find it. It actually tells you what you need to know. So again, for me, this is a five gallon storage bucket. All right, it's telling me, there's a little cheat sheet. If I have wheat, flour, grain, rice, or more, which is less dense, then I only need one 2000 cc. If I have beans, pasta, or less dense, I'm sorry, more dense, then it's two. So it's always 4,000, all right? I just throw two in there just in case one fails, I have two of them in there. Also, what you want to do is make sure you have some type of container. Uh, I like to use the balls, the balls glass. I'll put them in here when they're not in use. Once I open this packaging, once I open this packaging, what's going to happen is all the oxygen absorbers are going to pull the oxygen out of the air and then become useless. Okay, so. As soon as I put them in there, I cut the package, I dump the rest into that balls can, and then it just seals in there and there's no more oxygen being used. You could also put rice in there if you want, up to you, okay? All right, so let me set this up and then I'll lower the camera and then we'll, I'll just show you how simple this is. All right, so it's really a simple, oh, if I didn't say it before, make sure you wash your hands. I shouldn't have to say it, but. I know. All right, it's that simple right there. Get my corn. Make sure that that doesn't get away from me. There you go. All see up at the top right here this is kind of where I want it now I got to set it up to do the heating all right so from here I got my two my, two by four I'll just lay it across I just stacked up some buckets to make things a little bit easier I try to get as much air as I can out of this thing all right and then I'm gonna try to break this over to where it's flat it's not gonna be easy to do but you can do it okay take my oxygen absorbers all right I like to work fast with them as much as I can I'm gonna take two just to make sure that they're working throw them in there just at the top that's it all right while those are gonna start to work I'm gonna take the rest of these I'm gonna put them inside my can and I'm gonna seal the can I don't want to lose any more oxygen than I need to you'll see that that oxygen will suck in all of that, all right? So, got my oxygen out. Make sure there's no crinkles. And I'm gonna start from here, okay? I'm just gonna work. Work, 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 okay? Try to get all that air out. Like I said, you can also take a hair dryer. That's completely up to you. All right. Then what I like to do is I flip it around and I'm gonna do the other side. Okay. Just make sure that it's sealed. That's all you gotta do. 
sure it's sealed. Make sure it's cooled off. All right. There's some guys that will use vacuum cleaners or whatever oxygen. I mean, teach his own. I don't care. Whatever, do whatever makes you feel better. All right. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess. Not gonna need it. All right. Make sure it's sealed. All right. And what I like to do is just put this on the side, all right? No matter what you do, there's gonna be a little bit of oxygen in there, which is why I put the 2,000 or 4,000 cc's. It will take up some of that oxygen. It will kill anything that's inside of it. From here, you're pretty much done. All you need to do is take the lid, whack it on, and then make sure you label it, all right? So I'm gonna label it with the month and the year, uh, and I'm gonna put the corn that's in there and then just stock it up. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've been doing it for quite some time. I got black beans from 2012, white sugar from 2020, white rice from 2011. So I have quite a bit of stuff here. I also like to include, if I can, a little bit of the wise foods. So I don't know if you can get this stuff anymore, but the wise foods or mountain house, whatever floats your boat, you could put it in there as well. I'd like to thank all you guys for watching. Please stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more of this stuff. Go to TreeRiverBlades.com. Go to Three River Blades, Three River Kydex. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Also, please become a Patreon. It only helps me out and it helps me to help you. So, thank you very much, guys. And as always, please stay safe.